Hello everybody, welcome to Pair Crew. Today I'm going to show you how to host a website, a static website, on the cloud for free with a first class domain. So, let's begin. First of all, we need a website. So, I went ahead already and created one for my channel over here. It's on Adobe News, so I'm just gonna go ahead and export it into an HTML form to this folder on the desktop. Now we have the website ready. I can show you the website. It's in this folder. If we open up export it, here you go, this is the website. If we double click on the index.html or open it with our web browser, we will most probably have it working. There you go. So now that we have our website, let's begin. So first of all, you want to head over to GitHub. Now what GitHub is, it's, a, it's an online platform for open source, uh, mostly code management. But today we'll be using its uh, feature called GitHub Pages in order to host our own personal website. So. First of all, create an account on GitHub. Once you have created an account and you have logged in, you will most probably be greeted by a screen like this. So, head over to the top right and hit your profile. Now, as you can see, this we are at our profile. My account is currently empty. So, let's head over to where it says repositories and click new. Now, under repositories, as you can see, it's we have the owner, which is our account, and then the repository name. Now, how we are going to name the repository is exactly like our username. So, my, my username is pear crew, so I'm going to type pear crew, same caption as well, I think. And then go dot github, there you go, dot io. And by doing this, GitHub automatically recognizes that this repository is going to become a website. You can optionally insert a description, I'm not going to do that. Uh, keep it public, if you want to keep it private, I think you'll have to create a paid account or something. And uh, ignore all of these and create a repository. Now, uh, you will get over here and it will tell you how to upload code, but we're not really concerned with this right now. So, what you want to do is now download GitHub Desktop. So you go to desktop.github.com, you ha just have to download it and install it and log in. That's what I did and I already have it here set up. Once you log in, you will be greeted by this if you don't have anything in, in your account. So first of all, we're going to hit the plus sign over here. And then we're going to go on clone. As you can see, it will load the repository that we created online. Clone. Uh, our repository just hit the check over here and it will ask you where to place it we're just gonna put it on the desktop and we're gonna create a new folder let me go create a new folder I'll name it github put it right here there you go I'm going to place my repository into the github folder now as you can see it will say cloning it will clone your repository so essentially what this does is connect the folder with your online uh, account slash repository. Now that we have this, as you can see that we have no changes, let's just uh, minimize the program for now. Now let's open up the GitHub folder that I, that I created and as you can see there's a folder called paracrew.github.io. This is our uh, repositories folder. Anything we put here and we sync through the program will be uploaded to GitHub. So that's what exactly we're going to do. Let me open up the website folder and see these are the files that open up my website. So if I open this as I showed you before, this will be my website. Copy these folders into our repository folder. Paste. And now once we have done that, let's switch back to the GitHub desktop program down here. And as you can see, it has now picked up the changes we made into the folder. In this case, it's many uh, file additions. So hit over here where it says summary. This will be our commit summary. A commit is when you make a change and uh, you want to upload it into your repository. So let's just put first website upload. And you just hit commit to master it. So now that we have hit commit, hit publish. And as you can see, it says syncing right now. Now what this will do is upload our code, in this case our website, onto our repository. So now let's just give it a minute or two. Okay, as you can see it has finished because now it just says sync, there is nothing uh, else to do with this program over here. Now just go uh, ahead and open up your web browser and type in your username, in my case it's paracrew, and then .github 
.io, essentially the way our repository is named. Now once you do that, you will be presented with your website. It's now hosted on GitHub and it also has a domain which is your username.github.io. But what if you want a first class domain? Now, we we'll go over to freenom.com and we enter the domain that we want. For example, I want my domain to be called Paracrew and we hit check availability. Now as you can see there are a lot of free domains you can choose from. In this case I will go with .cf. Hit get it now. Check out and you will 12 months or whatever number of months you wish to use. In my case I'm gonna register it for a year and then hit forward this domain. Now forward this domain essentially what, what this does is uh, when somebody types paracrew.cf, in my case, in the web browser, Freenom automatically redirects that request to my website. So I'm going to type paracrew.github.io. So every time somebody hits paracrew.cf, they get redirected to my website on GitHub. Now let's hit continue. And we're going to enter our email address or actually log in with Google. hit I have accepted and once you have done that you will probably receive an email and your domain will most probably be working so let me check paracrew.cf and there you go once I hit paracrew.cf I automatically get redirected to my website over here any suggestions you have post them in the comments below please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video